They will make a video game out of literally anything. Some suck more than others. Generic control in the deck goes to me. We're back with another Jaden animation reaction. Today we're doing strange video games I played as a kid. I wonder if I'm going to know any of these video games. Probably not because people say I did not have a childhood, so I probably don't know many of these games. But me and Jaden are about the same age, so we'd be growing up about the same time. Well, I'd be growing up and she would actually be growing up and having a somewhat normal childhood, which I apparently completely missed out on according to the comment section of other videos. If you're a new video, a new viewer of the channel, you're probably like, what in the world are you talking about? There's a lot of things I've never seen, watched, played, or done, or eaten. Like, I've never eaten an orange in my entire life. You can check my reaction to last week's video, which was the Jane Animation video about, oh god, what was that video about? Oh my god, I forget what it was. What was... I forget what it was, but I'll leave it right up there. Also, link down below in the description. Also, being not in a playlist on my channel. I should probably make a playlist on my channel for all my Jaden animation videos. Oh, no. It was the Animal Crossing. It used to be so much darker because I've never played Animal Crossing before. There's another game I've never played that a lot of people love. But shout out to the patrons. They get to be this day early. Allow me to not have a paywall on channel because I'm completely against paywalls. And they allow me to do this because I really cannot do this because most of my most popular videos are copyright claimed, which is very unfortunate. So that means I get absolutely nothing in the video. So I wouldn't be able to do it if it was not for the wonderful patrons that I have. Literally $3 a month gets you all of my reaction videos a day early. That's why a lot of reaction channels put up paywalls for their content. They'd be like, oh, if you want to watch this series, you have to pay like $5 a month just to get this series. For me, it's $3 a month to get you all of my reaction videos a day early. Even the really special videos, you get those a day early, unlike other channels that put like $5 or $10 paywalls, which is just nuts. But if you can do that, I would greatly appreciate it. If you can't, you can subscribe, like, comment, whatever you want to do. I read every single comment and reply to a lot of them as well, so definitely leave some down below and let me know if you played any of these before. But let's go ahead and jump on into it. All right. Uh, let's see how that's... Isn't that... Is that bubbles? Oh, no. That door is not locked. I watched that woman door just not. waltz right through. Let me in right now, or I swear to. As a kid, my I don't know if I've ever played these games. Please let me know if you have played them. Game Boy Advance when I was five. I would lay. I had the Game Boy Advance SP. To be under the lamp so I could actually see the game because otherwise it was like playing nothing. My parents eventually yeah, got me that screen. big bulky light add-on so I wouldn't have to look like a moth whenever I wanted to play Super Circuit. Those yeah, the it's the light. Remember the moth memes? Fondly. It's weird how technology was so Nerf. good. But also we used to modify you Nerf guns. The games because the screen is too dark. My brother, my brother split thumbtacks in the tiny light bulb. The I played mainstream and games like them. Pokemon and Mario and Kirby. But my parents also Kirby. got me really random games. They probably just found like... in the clearance bin at the store, which made for a mix of some interesting gaming. Experiences. I don't think my parents ever bought me and random games. I kind of wanted to relive the glory days and see if the games actually were like. Oh, uh, it's SP. So I yes, I still have mine. Them, and here's what happened. First game: Powerpuff Girls Battle Him for the Game Boy. Battle Color. Him. I oh, I get. Him is the so I got to play it on my Game Boy Advance right? SP with half the cartridge sticking out. I also don't remember being able to yeah. get past the first stage and just replay the first screen all the time. Granted, as a kid, I loved the feeling of starting a new game and would always restart a Pokemon file because I liked the clean slate feeling. So I was like, maybe what? I got too far. Because I literally cannot get through it fast no, enough. No, not the case. This game can go die in a hole. I love it. It's my childhood. But oh my god, someone could hit all of them with a hammer and or I bury would them not in a desert. Sad. You play as Bubbles, which may I mention looks weirdly buff. Even buff, as a yeah, kid, looks I was really like, buff. Is this Bubbles a man? You fly around and collect. Like, was that everything. actually like a There's thing? There's so many or collectibles, and I don't know what any of them do. Rings, trading cards, plutonium, hearts, plutonium. phones, people. But it's almost impossible because the flying mechanics are like trying to control melting butter over a saucepan. The I just play game offline, is online, an ice level in the sky there's also criminals <laughs> afoot and they're ready to fight you you can beat them up but i also like child. how if well. you just walk past them they'll square up and then just go meh whatever this guy just straight yeah. up has a gun I all right a... who gave the nerd a gun <laughs> ow, ow Jesus. stop ow stop <laughs> also what the heck is that is he hitting that's me that's nightmares what is that supposed to be? Angrily. Anyway, this game is what bull is it? crap. The levels are huge and way too open for the Fake screen boy size, advance. so you get lost. Moving around is a nightmare. Poison, no diving? Things you need to do I'll to progress are cryptic as heck. The first level, you've got to find a key after rescuing Miss Bellum. Where's the key? Okay. Under a secret cave that's almost invisible and hard to get to. That's not level one material. Ooh, it's not level one. That's some Mario Kaizo thing, which was two because weeks ago. the controls are garbage, and I'm honestly... 
just trying to survive. <laughs> I stopped playing after getting halfway through the second area because it's all way too difficult to figure out without a guide. I watched this guy Fair. scream the game to see if I was just Actually being hard, an idiot with pathetic. video games. And he wasn't was having he much struggle? different of an experience, so I felt better. Just laugh in his face. That. Do we Next know who game, that was? SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom. As a kid, I remember really liking this game. Probably so she because did SpongeBob like... was my favorite TV show. So I was excited to revisit it. Okay. I was shot down real quick. This game's a platformer with a pretty simple plot. Plankton made a bunch of robots to steal a Krabby Patty formula, also, but she forgot to set the obey plankton lever to on. And why bother just flipping it to obey nah. when it's already down anyway? So now there's robots all over the place, not obeying I definitely never played this game. I remember playing a, um, because Mr. Krabs I think it was a Jimmy Neutron game for the Xbox. The thing is, I also remember playing the, the Burger King the Xbox list. games. They just ponder around and do definitely nothing played this necessarily game. evil. Even when you bump into them, they're like, oh, pardon me. This robot <laughs> can't harm you. This big guy wouldn't hurt a fly. This one takes you to where you need to go. I don't but see if they were in Animal Crossing, they would absolutely roast you. There's just robots walking around. <laughs> what was that? Does that someone a, have a gun? Oh yeah, my God, what is that? This one's oh, just a cannon. bazooka. So the majority nice. of the enemies in the game aren't enemies. They're more just objects slash platforms to help you get to the end of the level. But the thing about this game is that someone put the gravity to like 300 percent spongebob can't, oh, you can't jump, jump higher well, far enough water. to cover almost you can't any really ground jump in so water. most of the time you have to redo a bunch of stuff because if you don't wait until the last little pixel of the platform then you ain't making that jump it's so oh tedious god and adds a bunch of frustration to the game not That's to mention the robots are supposed mechanic. to jump or bad stand design, I guess. so slow and most of the time when you get to them they're moving the opposite direction and you, so have, you to have to, wait, to for wait for them to slowly float all the way back to you a decade later <sighs> one decade only for later you to, to miss, miss the it. jump because the gravity is bricks i played through the whole the game gravity. and the amount of times i died because i couldn't see the next platform or I had to take leaps of faith or even just got hit with bullets out of nowhere random bullets okay torture. underwater just the... move the camera you're making me dizzy zoom the camera i don't know where i'm i can't oh my god i thought the boss had to show the effects decent. they're probably also how did sponge fall in the water and not die the patrick Sponge. robot was horrifying and i don't want to see it ever again i love this game i have great memories playing it like 13 years ago but right now but it's dead, dead to me great game <laughs> i played it a bunch as a kid it can burn in a ditch. Moving on to Barbie Groovy games. Definitely know, never played that weird. one. Jaden, why did you as have much a as the Were you super the people in the Andrew Tate video? Would no, be able I to wasn't. Say. My parents just gave it to me, and I played it because what else was I gonna do? Not play it. Unlike the other games <laughs> I've talked about so far, this one's just a I'm bunch a play, of Barbie like... mini games. <laughs> Tic Tac Toe, Drots. Tic Tac Toe. Fancy words for saying checkers. This weird horse racing version of Hangman. Horse. Connect Four. Fun fact about Connect me: four with I will ice. always lose at Connect Four. I think How? what happens is I just get too focused on what I'm doing to notice the other person winning. Yeah, wow, they have, they have like five different ways that they There's can win. There's a bunch of other games on there. Some suck more than others. But the one Some I remember more the most as a kid was Barbie's version of. Snake. Conga line. Snake. Conga line. I'm not joking. Was they TF2? took Snake and were like, but what Has Jane ever played TF2? I feel like that'd be funny. It's a bunch of Barbies dancing in a conga line. And they can, like, pick up Barbies along the way to make a longer line. I love okay. this game. It's stupid snake, Barbie and hilarious, snake. and I can't get enough of it. Look at those moves. They are having That's the time of their life. That's honestly kind of how it works in real life. Bedroom, I think. Also, you can't you run into one of the girls, yourself. it becomes a weird like cult dance. Imagine that scenario right there in real life. That's terrifying. I've seen it. I've seen it. I've seen real. it. So the Barbie I've game was it. pretty fun. I lost at most of the other games against Teresa, but we don't need to talk Teresa. about that. It's one of those <laughs> pick up and put down wherever you want kind of games. <laughs> I understand why I liked it as a kid. Finally, we've gotten How to young the was she when she game. played these? This one's a bit different because it's a plug and play game. I had a couple of these oh, as a kid. Oh god, I play, had I think one Nicktoons or two of these. Play. And also the Disney one, but I didn't like that one as much. The Nicktoons oh. plug and play was my favorite as a kid, so I wanted to replay that one. There's a fairly odd parents game that's kind of just Pac-Man, Jimmy Neutron game with ladders and aliens. No wait, right. it wasn't No, it was a fairly odd parents. It was a very very odd fairly odd parents. The games that parents. I wanted to talk about are uh, Rocket Power one Xbox and game. The not Spongebob Jimmy Neutron. Game. I don't think it was Jimmy was Neutron. Two. Maybe there was. This is the better one. I loved the Rocket, Rocket Power was that one. Rocket League. I would mainly play the plug and play just for this game specifically. It's basically a top-down scroll game where you avoid obstacles go through flags and grab collectibles for points but that wasn't my favorite okay. aspect of the game i liked this part putting the helmet on 
You get points Landing from jumping people? and literally demolishing other skateboarders. Nice. My seven-year-old self would go out of my way every level to destroy Why do kids as many just other resort to violence? as possible. My I nephew picked up a duster yesterday. I would have my back to him. He would run up and just hit me here. with it. Overall, like, 10 what? out of 10 game entertained me for years. The objective of the SpongeBob game was to shoot Krabby Patties into the mouths of everyone in town and grab oh, the nice. money they toss on the ground. I mean, toss it's not money. conventional, but I guess there's nothing particularly wrong wrong with that business they will make change. a video game Everyone out of literally anything patty, so as long as you don't run out of patties you can i saw a dude in a kind of hat costume on a unicycle on the sidewalk sorry the about that man i didn't <laughs> all right besides Pretty that food? guy you can just shoot them at oh no <laughs> is that kid dead probably what happened there i mean he looked not too upset bean. about the fact i just popped his balloon while he was dangling 15 feet in the air i guess the world moves on I'll just I guess. not think about it and keep doing this crabby pattern. This goes bro. over him. I like a right, little cool. bump. It didn't hinder me at all in the end. It was for the greater good. Another 10 out of 10 game. That was my nostalgic trip down weird video game lane. It was surprisingly fun and also I wonder not fun what the budget for those video games, games were. Do we know? Somebody please tell me in the, the comment section. And hearing the music gave me Is that like information we know? When I played them 15 plus years ago. But also trying to actually beat them made me want to never play them ever again and kind of tainted the illusion they were good and fun games uh, like Powerpuff Girls and Battle for Bikini Bottom. Did I have fun? Is that just, is that nostalgia? Is that the effect of nostalgia? All right, I actually think I had more frustrated hours than fun hours. But did I have at least a little fun? Yes. Yes. The ratio doesn't matter. That much. much. Should you yeah. do this? I don't care. This is I about don't video care. Fake. Not because I got to play video games. <laughs> oh, before, Jesus. But because I got to show how much That's of a funny. Gamer I am. It's pretty oh, impressive such a how gamer. gamer I also, I have a P.O. box. Anyway, Every time I see one of these, like, uh, I've been like the fan art and stuff like that, it always reminds me, like, you can definitely you send like me something. Me or Kirby, well, we will open it up on camera. Also, I I'm currently waiting for things, because we already have some stuff, but I want to have more. Me drawing it up on sh Ari in the and background going crazy. Up in Scribble Showdown. Tickets are still on sale on oh, yeah, the whole Scribble Showdown. We'll also, people want me to do the odd one out. Odd one's out or something like that. What are you talking about? October 1st through the 9th. It's going to be a lot of fun, and hopefully we don't end up hating each other by the end of it, since we're all going to be and crammed a on a tour trip to bus the UK. together for a week straight. But Dude, that sounds like fun. Being on a tour bus with your friends for a week straight? Won't see Ari I mean, I just watched a Sidemen video. Uh, thanks for they... watching. Peace out, gamers. Oh, so. God. And... Hey, what? Stop it. <laughs> Attacked, and she was never to be heard from again, because Ari killed her. But <laughs> that was... Oh man, it took it, it reminded me. It takes me back to that one level. I think it was, it was the Fairly Odd Parents game. I remember it was like really, really terrible looking. Like I said, I also remember the Burger King Xbox games. Do you remember those? Like you literally, I, I don't even think you had to pay for them. I literally think if you bought a meal, like a kids meal or a meal of a certain amount, they would like, and you asked for it, they would give it to you. And there was like three or four of them. And I think I still have one of them. And I don't think I ever want to touch it again. I think there's literally one where you... I feel like one was like a carting one. Like you were in a cart. So I have absolutely no idea. Please tell me the strangest video games that you've played. Now there's so many like strange video games. So I guess there's stuff like, you know, there's so many just weird games like Goat Simulator and stuff like that. But tell me like childhood games. Like things that weren't intentionally trying to be indie and weird. You know, like Spongebob was not trying to be indie and weird. That was them actually trying to, I guess, do a cash grab. But they were like, it was a video game based on Spongebob. So to market the kids and stuff, not and, and whatnot. But I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're subscribed to the most future ones. And uh, I read every single one in the comments. So let me know what video you'd like to see next. I'll, I'll be in the comment section reading it and replying. But I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. But until next video, take care and keep the music.